everybody. I'm Casey Stone with Clear Story Design. Today, we are in Blunts Creek, North Carolina, and we are starting a new project. I want to show you our boathouse. So this is a family-owned uh, weekend house getaway. It's our happy place. We've owned it about 15 years, and it's just time for some updating, some upkeep. So we're going to be here for a few weeks. I'm going to turn around and show you what we really love about it is we actually have a boathouse. We have a dock. Our dock is going to need some work, but I honestly don't think we're going to get to it this summer. We are going to spend most of our time working inside. We just, in the last year, put a new roof on, so we're addressing some issues that came with having an old roof. And we're doing some storage options and just some updating. So let's go inside and I'll show you all the things we're going to be doing at the boathouse. Hey y'all, so we are finally working on the boathouse. I showed you where we had a little water leak a couple of days ago, but now the guys are here and we are doing some serious work on the boathouse. Let me show you what we've got going on. This was once a laundry room. It has become a pantry. We obviously don't have a washer and dryer here. Um, it's just ugly, it's scary. It's got popcorn ceilings and um, it doesn't function. There's very little shelving. We end up leaving everything on the floor. And when we come down here, we have a ton of groceries because we're here and there's lots of people here. So we are going to make this closet or this pantry, number one, much more efficient and number two, look better, I hope. Also, we're on a mission to get rid of this horrible, horrible color. Uh, getting started by taking down the shelves. You can see this is just like cheap, not nice wood. So not even wood really it's a picture of wood these other rooms actually have nice wood but so we're going to take all that out our goal is to not move that water heater so we're going to be very careful in working around it we're also this has a light with a pull cord and if we open up that ceiling i'm going to see if we can get a switch on that light because i hate going in there in the dark and trying to find it conking yourself in the head with it. So the guys are putting on respirators and they're throwing me out because they don't want me to breathe in yucky stuff. But we've started taking it off. We've gotten all the brackets off. We've disconnected the water heater, identified some of the plumbing, and now all this cheap, I mean, this is like a, it's like paper. It's not even Luan. I mean, I can tear it with my hands. Um, all this is gonna come out. Um, okay, so when we took that paneling off, that was basically all that was holding that last piece of sheetrock. But we got it down. We're gonna keep tearing. We're gonna take this light out and tear the ceiling off. Um, so you can see we've got an old wooden wall here. Not sure what this is about, whether that was a window at one time or what. Uh, the house was built in the 40s, so not too old, but certainly not new. Um, somebody popcorned the ceiling before they put the paneling on the wall. So that's, that's, <coughs> oh, that's cute. So anyway, we're going to keep doing demo. Okay, we are calling it a day. We have gotten, it's dark in here, everything opened up, cleaned up, and we have a shopping list for tomorrow. One more thing I wanted to show you is this wall. We have this long hallway that's really a waste. It's off the kitchen, it's off the pantry. Um, we used to have an antique church pew and all it did was catch everybody's bags, everybody's junk. So we have decided because we need more cabinet space, who doesn't need more cabinet space and counter space to do cabinetry and do a bar. We have a cabinet that we are repurposing from another job. So the guys are gonna bring that in here in a minute and then I've got some painting to do. All right, y'all, so we are gonna continue working in the boathouse. Um, let me turn it around and show you. So this is the downstairs bathroom at the boathouse and um, it is basic. We've got a shower, 
we, this is almost like glamping down here. Um, but this bathroom needs a little love. In fact, this wall color has aged terribly. It's gotten real fleshy. It's bad. So we're going to paint it. So both bathrooms are actually getting painted and the upstairs bathroom is going to be the same color as the downstairs bathroom, but we're going to paint the cabinets a little pop of navy. So I got to strip everything out and we're going to start cutting in. All right. So I worked so late. I forgot to get footage last night, but I wanted to show you this side has not been painted. This is still that ugly, fleshy, peachy color. I wish I could tell you the name of it because it's horrible and I would tell you don't use it. It's really, really bad. Uh, we had picked it probably 15 years ago with a sample and by the time my mom and I got here, it was already painted. It was horrible. But on this side, we got two walls done. This is natural linen and it's so much better so much better. It still works with this countertop. I think that's where that horrible paint color came from all those years ago was it matched the countertop. But um, here you can see, you can see the ugly old color and the fresh new color. These cabinets are not going to be this color. They're going to be navy. So we've got navy accents. Um, I've never painted half a room and then the other half the room, but this is what we did yesterday. Um, last night, I didn't want to take down the mirrors and work around the lighting. So, we've painted this half. And then, today, hi, um, we will paint the other half. Right, so, here is that cabinet that we are repurposing. Now, it's got to come down a little bit. It's definitely going to get painted. And some new hardware. And it's got a black granite countertop. So, we are reduce, reuse, recycling and adding a bar in this hallway. But that is for another day. We are calling it a day today. All right. So, one of the perks of working at the boathouse is Jesus gets to use his two-year-old casting net that he's never used. And Gio and I get to sit here and watch. All right. It's time for some fishtails now. <laughs> Let's see what Jesus can catch. <laughs> I don't speak Spanish, but I don't think it was a big catch. <laughs> oh, yes. All right, so we're wrapping up here today. We will be back soon, and I hope you will be too.